Hey guys, I'm Jelsey. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you are here. Today I'm going to talk about two movies that are premiering during this month on the new A Little Romance lineup on Hallmark Channel. And also I'll talk about the two movies that are premiering on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel as well. During this time of year, all of us Hallmark Channel viewers are used to seeing the June Weddings lineup, but because of the virus, you know, all productions came to a pause. So of course, Hallmark is airing movies that have been previously filmed. I have to say that I'm going to miss the June Weddings lineup. I mean, it's one of my favorite lineups of the whole year, and it's going to be different. I'm going to miss it. I am. Also, Country at Heart, um, starring Jesse Schramm and Niall Mater, was um, supposed to air on June 6th, but it was uh, taken out of the lineup. I'm like, Hallmark, don't do this to me. You're playing with my emotions. I think this has been done to this movie twice. It was set to premiere on Fall Harvest of last year. This was the movie I was most looking forward to seeing, so... I hope we get to see it soon. Okay, so let's begin. On June 13th, we have Love in the Forecast, starring Cindy Busby and Christopher Russell. I've mentioned this before, but um, one of my favorite Cindy Busby projects always has been the Darcy movies. And I also really enjoyed her in A Godwin Christmas Meant for Love from last year. And we've seen Christopher Russell in The Mistletoe Secret and Nature of Love. The description for this movie says, after swearing off dating for a full year, Leah quickly learns her new commitment has made her a magnet for men. Well, that's not working out well. I remember seeing Cindy's um, Insta stories when she was filming this movie. So I'm curious to see how it plays out and to see um, her chemistry and interactions with Christopher Russell. Next we have on June 20th, um, Love Under the Olive Tree. It stars Tori Anderson from Return to Christmas Creek and Benjamin Hollingsworth from A Godwin Christmas Meant for Love and you guys remember Science Seal Delivered, the first movie? The description for the movie says, The prize of Sunset Valley's annual olive oil contest is a land parcel with disputed ownership. When Feisty Nicole and competitive Jake face off, they never expect sparks to fly. Hmm. It'll happen. I'm not really familiar with Tori Anderson. I've seen uh, more projects that Benjamin Hollingsworth has been involved in, so that's why I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay, now let's head on to Movies and Mysteries channel. On June 14th, we have Timeless Love. It stars Rachel Scarston from Marry Me at Christmas and Brant Doherty from Mingle All the Way. The description for this movie says, Megan seems to have the perfect life with a wonderful husband named Thomas and two adorable children. When she awakens from a coma, Megan discovers she is not married, and never has been, but when she meets Thomas for real, she seizes the chance to help him fall in love with her again for the first time. I believe this movie was released last year and now Hallmark is going to premiere on their channel, on the Movies and Mysteries channel. I have to say this is one of my favorite tropes. It reminds me... It's kind of like a reverse family for Christmas. This is a Lacey Chabert movie from 2015. In Lacey's movie, she doesn't have the family at the beginning, but then she wakes up and then she's married and she has kids. And it's like a what if scenario, like this would be your life if you married this guy. In Timeless Love, she has the family, but then she wakes up and then she doesn't. This movie was available in other platforms at one point, but I haven't seen it, so I'm intrigued. Last but not least, on June 26th, we have Midway to Love. It stars Rachel Hendricks from Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses and Daniel Stein on his Hallmark debut. The description says, when the network announces that her television therapy show is changing to a tabloid shock fest, a straight-laced and caring psychologist returns to her hometown and reunites with her high school sweetheart. Eventually, she realizes that having someone to share life with is more important than fame or the excitement of the city. Now thinking about it, I think this is the first Hallmark movie that the lead is a psychologist. I've seen that leads are doctors, but not a psychologist, so I think this is the first one. And I also believe that this movie was previously released. Anyways, I love Rachel Hendricks. I've seen 
a few of her projects and side note, October Baby was the first movie I saw that she was involved in. She was the lead. If you haven't seen October Baby, you have to check it out. It's so good. I really enjoyed it. I'm not familiar with Daniel Stein, but I read that Daniel Stein and Rachel Hendricks are married in real life. What? So I was like mind blown. <laughs> So yes, that made me even more excited to see the movie and um, to see how their dynamic is going to be. I'm really excited. Yeah, so let's see how these movies go. Tell me in the comments which movie are you most excited to see. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. God bless. See you next time. Bye.